Today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you a quick and easy card made using the new Winter Cheer Stamp TV kit and our new Perfect Panels Level 1 Incentive. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to make this card project. First, you're going to need some ink, and the inks that I'm using today are both by Gina K Designs, it's our Christmas Pine, and our Moonlit Fog. Along with that, you're going to need a sponge dauber or some kind of ink applicator. You're also going to need some cardstock, and the cardstock that I'm using is the Gina K Designs Christmas Pine cardstock, and then I'm also using one of the perfect panels, and I'm going to show these to you in just a minute. For embellishments, I'm using some of our pearls. These are the self-adhesive pearls that we have on our site. These are by Eyelid Outlet. I'm also using some of the white organdy ribbon that comes in the Stamp TV kit. For stamps, I'm using the Pine Tree and the Winter Wishes Greeting. I'm also using some adhesive, some scissors, and a pack of post-it notes. Okay, so first I want to show you what these perfect panels look like. These are four and a quarter by five and a half inch panels printed on our Gina K Designs Pure Luxury White Cardstock. It's our 80 pound layering weight. And you get two of this frame, which is just stunning. Then you get two of the red frame. You get two of the circle, the pine, the Christmas pine with the ocean mist inside. And you saw that one in action last week. And then you get two of this particular frame in Christmas pine. So there's a lot of card starters here, and they're very, very fun to work with. And since this is the new Level 1 incentive, if you spend $25 or more in our store, any time throughout December you'll get a pack of these, I thought it would be a fun idea to show you another card using these panels. So what I've done here is I've taken one of the panels. You can see this one's just a little bit bigger. This is the original size. And then I've just evenly trimmed off around the perimeter. And the best way to do that is to maybe go in eighth inch increments around until it looks balanced and even and exactly the way you want it. Because you'll notice on the frame that this loop is a little bit different than this loop, the little swirl that comes out and it's reversed on the other side. So you really kind of have to eyeball it too to make sure that it looks nice and straight to you. Okay, so now I'm going to start with a post-it note. And I'm going to use the post-it note to uh, mask off this rectangle. So I'm putting one there, and then I'm going to use one up here along this side and one over here. Now you don't have to go all the way up unless you plan on doing something different than what I'm doing here. Okay. Then I'm going to take another post-it note and I'm going to cut a little hill. And you can see how I did that. There's my little hill. And I'm going to start down here at the bottom and I'm going to grab that Moonlit Fog ink and a sponge dauber. Get a little bit of ink on there. Now, I'm going to dab a little bit off because I don't want it to be too dark. And then right along the edge of that little hill that I created, I'm just going to ink up a little bit of the cardstock by sponging in a circular motion like that. Okay, now I'm going to do the next one right about there. Same thing, circular motion, and some ink. Okay, so there's another one. And then the last one I'm going to do just right about there, and I'm not going to go all the way over to the edge. Like that. Okay, so I've created some snowy hills. And that's a little bit different than the way I showed you to do it last time. Last time we sponged underneath the little stencil that I made, and this time we're stamping on top. Okay, and if you want to, you can go back with that sponge dauber, and you can just add a little bit of ink down here to the bottom. And then you can peel off 
those post-it notes and your little snow banks should be inside of that frame. So for the next step, I'm going to add the tree. And I want to do that using some of the Christmas pine ink. And I have the tree here. You can see I've stamped with some of our cherry red. So it stained the stamp a little bit, but that's okay. They still work great. All right, and now I'm going to stamp that more toward the top because I want to leave room for my greeting. So right about here. And you want to give it a second to really transfer all the ink, especially in the center, because this is a big stamp. There we go. So there's that beautiful tree. Oh, I just love this tree. Now I'm going to stamp the Winter Wishes greeting again with the Christmas pine. And I'm going to put that right underneath the tree. There we go. Winter Wishes. And you can see how nice it is to have that frame already done for you. This came together so quickly and easily. All right, so my next step is to mount it onto my card base. And a lot of you ask me all the time, how come I never make cards that open this way? I only make them open kind of the, the top fold way. So I decided to make one that opens on the side like most of the cards you would find in the stores. I really only do that because it's easier to photograph a card when the fold is at the top, but I thought I would throw one of these in there because I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the ribbon. Okay, so this is going to go on with some mono adhesive. Just like this. There. And then I'm going to take a piece of white ribbon and I'm going to just tie it right around the front of the card here. I can cut the excess off when I'm done. Let's see if I have enough here. I'm thinking probably not. I'll add a little bit more. All right. And I'm just going to make a Kind of a big loopy bow, nothing fancy. It's not always easy to tie when you're trying to hold it down at the same time and you've got a lot of excess there. There we go. And then you can trim off your edges. And if you want the tails to be the other way, then tie it upside down like this. I know it seems crazy, but it's true. Depending on which way you want the tails. Your tails will come out the front there. And play with your bow to get to look exactly the way you want. Now I want to show you my finished card. I did take quite a bit of time to fix that bow, so I want to show you my finished card. Of course you could send the card just like this by adding a little bit of glitter to the tree and then it's nice and flat. You don't have to worry about any additional postage or anything getting damaged in the mail. If you want to add a little more bling, here I tied the ribbon on to this card here, and then you can see I added those little pearls. And I did that just by picking them up with a tweezer right off of this little plastic panel and just placed them down where I wanted them. And I added a whole bunch of pearls. So that is my finished card project. I hope you've enjoyed today's Clean and Simple Perfect Panels project. These perfect panels will be available as a level one incentive from now through the end of December with any purchase of $25 or more. And stay tuned for weeks more of exciting episodes featuring the new Winter Cheer Stamp TV Kit.